Uh, the second parameters we're gonna measure is frequency. Frequency is like how often. Okay, how often is this happening? So by taking the risk first we have to find out how many single how many seconds a single cycle would take. A cycle is literally I'll show you is the time it goes from here all the way down and back here. So if you see the red if you see how the red point is going upward and forward, so this is a cycle. And I need to remind you the, vibra the whole bearing or the shaft that would vibrate okay, in a sinusoidal manner. It goes up and down, up and down to a certain limit, always trying to, to go back to the steady state position. Okay, so first we need to find out how many cycles per second, and then we find the re reciprocal of this, the inverse of this, that will give us number of cycles per second so in case it is 50 cycles which is 50 hertz if you multiply it by 60 like a narrator denominator so it will be 3000 cycles per minute or 3000 cpm or 3k cpm okay so this is a little bit advanced but i'm gonna say it like really briefly so machine will generate machine mechanical vibration and harmonics harmonics is the one you see in the radio station like if you're living near to an antenna of the radio station you could hear it like really loud and then if you change the dial on the radio you know like the small button if you, if you twist it okay so you could see there is like repetition for the same channel at a different frequency much strength but it's like the same channel is repeating at a really bad quality but this won't happen if you live far away from the antenna Okay, so the same uh, the same uh, idea here. Harmonics is just like the repetition, the main frequency. Okay, uh, for example, thing, 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 an example like unbalanced cause a force that moves the bearing. Okay, in any direction at a rate of once per revolution, one RPM. That movement occurs exactly one revolution, not 1.1 or not 0 0.9, which is 61. So, uh, for example, we have a pump, pump with five vein on the propeller, so it generate uh, generate a frequency at exactly five times RPM. No, not four. Excuse me, not four point nine, not five point one. Okay, so it generate the same as like how many revolution is happening. So, uh, so as we said. Uh, uh, frequency it tell us how often it's happening how much time it needed to do one cycle as we see here like it's like how many cycles per second how many seconds per cycle and you do the inverse you get cycles per second which is hertz so let's go on this example if we have a bearing if we have a bearing is vibrating 10 mils which is equal to 154 microns in 0 0.1 second okay so it does one cycle which is like from it's sorry it's, it's, it's doing the mills like a distance okay so for like the point here as you see on the graph here at the top so this from here to there is 10 mils okay and doing this in, in one cycle sorry it's doing this so in 0 0.1 second uh, so this period is like the period is 0 0.1 second. The time required is a cycle to do one cycle. Um, so if we want to know how many in one cycle, so to be how many in one second to be cycles, ten cycles. Each cycle is ten minutes. It would dis it's, it has displaced or has traveled ten minutes. So in ten cycles, it's like 100 minutes. 100 minutes is 2,500. 40 microns so it's like 2.5 millimeter per second okay so this is average speed okay so average speed you know the speed it goes to zero uh, when it's, it's reversed in direction and it goes back to the maximum when it's like at the uh, resting point which is like right in the middle so here if we justify so here at the edges like the force the speed will be like zero because it's like reverse in direction and it's like maximum here in the middle so it's like zero here because it's reverse direction to go back and zero here to go back this is the position in the middle 
and I need to remind it to always fluctuate okay so this value is equal to average so you multiply it by 2 is 5 millimeter per second so let's say I close the relationship between all those variables so if you have a bearing is moving 10 mils okay and is doing 10 cycles per minute and if you have a bearing is moving 10 mils and is doing 70 cycles per minute so which one would you expect it to get damaged first so if you have a bearing doing 10 mils as this one is doing 10 mils but the first one is doing 10 cycles per minute the second is doing 70 cycles per minute so which one would you expect to be damaged faster okay obviously the second thing is like it's going at the speed seven times the first one so it's extremely fast compared to the first one it's doing 70 cycles per minute okay so would you expect it to get damaged much faster okay so those are the effect if you see other movies just you could if there is like an example how to uh, standard or guidelines to follow so in which condition at every frequency what is the type of failure would you expect